So you'll see that we've got our landlord name set up on the invoice properly so that it shows John Landlord, care of Connells. But what we're missing from this invoice is details of the site address, so where you actually visited, i.e. 123 Shackleford Road, but also the purchase order number. So the purchase order number you can pop in here and that will be the works order reference. And if you're using zero, you'll also want to pop in the first line of the address here too. So we need site address and PO to show on the invoice. So we're going to close this down and go to settings. Then we're going to go to document templates and make sure we've got invoice selected. Then it's really small and difficult to spot, but you're looking for this down here. If you would like to download the current template as a starting point, click here. So you download the template and I'm going to go grab it from the downloads folder and put it somewhere. So I would always recommend when you're making changes to your invoice template that you download a copy, but then you make a copy of it. So I've just copied that. So I'm going to say this is my original. Now I always do this even though I've been building forms and templates for years. I always do this because sometimes I mess up and I upload the wrong one or I make a mistake and I want to put the original back and if I haven't made a copy of it I panic. So always take a copy of what you've downloaded. So we've left our original there. We're going to open up the invoice template. So this is your standard invoice template and then we want to add the site address. So we're actually going to go grab the client sites template fields document that I put in the lesson. And we're going to copy and paste them directly from here because this, this is the easiest way to work with templates. So this, I've got a Mac, but I'm using the magnet app so I can have things side by side. Uh, there's a link to it in the one of the lessons. So. I'm going to take the template field, copy that and pop it here for example and then I also want the purchase order number to appear so I'm going to copy that works reference and I'm going to pop it up here for example and I might want to do a bit of formatting and tidying so the font is Arial so I'm going to make sure that that's also Arial and so is that so it all matches and I'm going to right align that. Now I'm going to save this. So that's saved. Close that. So I've got my, this is my new one. Okay and then I go back to the settings document templates area and I make sure that it is still got invoice selected because if you're downloading your quote or your work order templates and making changes there then when it once it downloads and reloads the page it'll put you back on invoice so always make sure you're on the right one here so we're on invoice and we want to hit the button upload custom template hit select and choose our revised service date invoice And then we should see what it'll do is it'll take the most recently generated invoice as an example to show you how the template's working. So that we can see that we've now got site address and our works reference is blank. So we're just going to go back to job number one and pop in a works reference, a PO number, and then generate the invoice. And there we go, you can see that the works reference 1234 has pulled through. So that's how you add the PO number and the site address to your invoice.